So now let's utilize some textures and create a vase in Cinema 4D. To create a vase, I'm going to go over here on to the side view first. I'm going to go on to the right, just like this, and I'm going to use my spline tool because I'm going to rotate that along in the axis. So I'm going to take my spline tool right here, as you can see, so I'm just going to click on my spline tool and I'm just going to click here and create a vase like shape, just like this. So over here, I'm gonna click it and over here, I'm just going to drag a shape over here and then one over here just like this and i'm going to create a bit of a bit of a curve so just click and drag just like this and over here just like that so that is a vase as you can see right here i'm going to enclose the vase as well so i'm just going to click uh right here to come up with an object just like that and i'm going to click and drag over here just click and drag one over here as well just like this or just over here i'm just going to click it just like that and click and drag over here as well and just like here, I'm just going to enclose the object all around. So once I do that, I'm going to press space. And now what I want to do is I want to rotate this along the axis just like that. So I'm going to go on to the view right here, on to the main view, just like that. So I'm going to go on to the spline. I'm going to select, now go on to the object mode. And what I want to do is I want to rotate this along. And to rotate that along, I'm going to go over here uh, onto this tool right here and I'm going to select lat. And once I do that, I'm going to bring in the spline onto the lat just like that. And there you go, you can see that there is a vase just like that. And now I can select the spline right here and then just bring this in. And you can see that this is how you can control the overall object. And this is how it looks like. So you got your vase right over here. Uh, just like that quite easily. Now what I want to do is I want to add in a texture to this as well. So I'm going to double click over here. I'm going to use my mat and click and drag my mat over here. So on the mat, I'm just going to click on this and over here, I'm going to add in a texture to this. So there's the texture as you can see. So I'm going to click on the texture and I'm going to go over here onto my desktop right here and on the base, I'm going to select the image and press open. So once I do that, I'm going to press OK to use it as a reference just like that and there you go you can see that the texture has been applied as well but the mapping is uh not that right so i'm just going to go over here onto the texture and then arrange it out even furthermore just like this so over here to, in order to work around with the texture i'm going to go over on to the uv editing mode right here so i'm going to go to bp uh, UV editing right over here so that it changes its view into UV just like this. So now once I actually go over here on to the material, uh, you'll be able to see the UV. So over here, here is the projections that you can work around with as well. So I'm, I don't, I want to work around with something like a cylindrical projection. And over here on to the material settings right here on the material tag editor, I'm going to go to the tag view and over here at the bottom, you'll see this. So you see the offset settings right here. So you see the offset U and the offset V right here. So I can just increase the offset value right here to change the uh, texture as you can see right there, or I can use the length as well. So I can just increase and decrease the length right here. So it creates copies as you can see. And as I'm using the seamless texture, this does not actually show um, as well. So I'm going to go with 4% and 4% on the both sides. So that's just too much if you ask me. So I'm going to reduce this down into 30% and 30% just like this until you're happy with the texture that you're getting out of this material right here. So I'm going to go over something like 50% uh, right here and around not 50%, let's say 20% and 20% right here. And there you go. And I can also like expand this around or contract this around just like this visually, just like that until you're happy with the texture level of detail that you're getting over here. So that's the offset as you can see, just like that. So that's the offset. I'm just going to turn on the seamless setting as well, just like that. So it actually does look a bit a seamless right over here onto the side, just like that. So once I'm happy with this, I, I want to make the material more uh, shiny, just like that. So I'm going to go back over here onto the uh, normal mode right here, onto the standard mode. And then I'm going to go on to the map view. And over here, I'm going to make this uh, object a bit shiny. So I'm going to go on to uh, my, uh, my color right here and on the texture, uh, not in the color, but in reflectance, I'm going to add in uh, Beckman. I can also add in other things like Fong and everything, but Beckman is the basic settings. I'm going to decrease the le level of Beckman right here to reduce its shininess just like that. 
and you can see that there's a bit of a shininess right over here which is very very shiny just like that as well so you can work around with the shininess of everything else just like that and work around with the shininess just like that all right so once you're happy with the level of details you're getting over here you can actually add in a floor so i'm going to add in a floor right here and then i'm going to go over here on to my uh, um, my options for a physical sky as well so you can actually see how everything looks like so once I'm happy with everything let me just render everything out and let's see how the final result actually looks like so you can see that this is the boss looks really realistic right there uh, and everything has been done by the use of late tool and by applying the uh, shiny shiny material right over here in the texture so next we're going to look at how to make some flowers which goes along well with the bus. So if you guys learn something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.